Oh, he'd been coming around all right. Coming around and knocking his foot through my door at every opportunity, saying, Beatrice, I love you. Why don't you just give me one more chance? That was after I left. And then the court told him to leave the house, and so me and Tyrone moved back in. <sighs> Poor little Tyrone. He just, he'd lay there in bed at night, and he couldn't figure out what was going on. He was, he didn't want to say he was scared, but I know he was, and he'd look up and he'd say, I think Daddy's here. Isn't that a joke? I think Daddy's here. Sound like a goddamn bull elephant out on my front porch knocking everything around he could get his hands on. I used to leave my trash out there, just let him go to it. He could sweep it up and put it in a little bitty bag when he was finished. No, that was a long time, a long time before the phone call started. You'd think he'd have learned, though, you know? We were together 16 years, and you'd think he would have learned. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of doors. He kicked in my father's door. He kicked in my brother's door. He kicked in my brother-in-law's door. He even kicked in the goddamn priest's door. Pardon my French. That's the only time I ever went to the church for any help. Nikki and little Al, they were still at home. Tyrone was just a baby. He'd gone wild one night. I got him all gathered up. I took him away. I went down to the blessed sanctuary of my church just to find some help. So I'm bawling my eyes out with the father there, and he's being so sympathetic. I'm telling him all of my problems. And then what happens? You know, all of a sudden, out of the blue, there's Al at the door saying, Beatrice, come back to me. I'm never going to hurt you anymore. All of a sudden, the father is changing his tune because the door is given way. He says to me, Mrs. Small, I think your husband is sincere. I could have said to him, I didn't, but I could have said to him, yes, Father, my husband is sincere. He sincerely believes that you and I are having a lover's meeting in here. He wouldn't say it to your face, but that's what I'll hear when I go home. 